My autobiography will be called To Air Is Human based on my charming tendency to go air at the end of every sentence. In terms of reading me about some story, think of the great storytellers, the great voices. Morgan Freeman, obviously. But then I think I just like him to narrate my life just in the third person as I go to sleep, go, and then Dara went to sleep. And I go to sleep, but part of me was still, as I went to sleep, wonder, what's Morgan going to do now? He's kind of wandering around my house, uh, and I'm asleep. So this situation has spiralled out of control. And will he still be there when I wake up? When you knew Morgan Freeman narrates your life, does he also cook your breakfast? When Dara woke, there were sausages by his bed. Thanks, Morgan. Um, I was... Uh, blinded badly by an explosion during the war and for 18 months the nurses read to me uh, by my bedside and letters from home uh, written newspapers uh, chronicling things that were happening back in the in, in the world. I dreamed of finally getting back oh wait that, none of that happened to me uh, I would like to have voiced my own book but weirdly when I wrote a book they didn't get me to do the audiobook of my own book. And I do this for a living. I read out other people's stories occasionally on camera. So I'd like to do my own, thanks. I'd never understood why they didn't go, oh yeah, would you like to just read it? Because the whole book is written as if I could read it. Yeah, so that, that'd be an historical anomaly that I think we'd all want to correct.